Welcome back guys and we're here with a new campaign playing as Gondor in this Lord of the Rings mod for um, Imperator Rome and uh, so yeah we're, we're gonna give it a go as Gondor because I mean who else would you want to play as apart from the good guys? The bad guys? I mean pff, nah it's not worth it. So anyway we'll quickly read this blurb and then we'll get into uh, like what, what we need to do just at the beginning. So Gondor is near the height of its power, its wealth and wisdom far surpassing any other mortal realm in Middle-earth. The Dúnedain of the south are the bulwark of the west, holding the lines of the Anduin against the warlike tribes of the east and the south, and even expanding eastwards and southwards in Rune and Harrod. Yet darkness is stirring once more, Greenwood the Great is dark, is darkening. The Greenwood the Great is, that sounds like a person, but it's, it's not, they, they named as forest the great anyway your kin in the north send news of a risen dread realm of angmar and news out of ravanian and Dorwinian speak of unrest of restless tribes on their borders gondor stands strong but if the old enemy is returning this is no time for complacency gondor gets a thousand dosh yes please we'll take that so anyway we will first assign some commanders, I guess. So, oh, no, no, there is no commander. That was really weird. It almost looks like a head for someone. Anyway, we'll assign a commander. We'll put this chap in charge. He seems like a good guy to have in charge. Um, the second army up here. So we've got very small armies that we'll have to strengthen up. Um, I'll put the tent, I guess, tanks. Strong, I don't know. We'll put that guy in charge. We'll put this guy in charge here. And maybe you. I'm just thinking. Yeah, why not? Just have him. Have them all. Have them all. Feel free to them. Uh, yep. Yeah, rank nine's fine. And there's an army down here. No, there isn't. So these are all our armies, but we have a navy that we need to just to give. I'm just gonna give it to. Oh, that's my king. I'm not gonna give it to him then. I'll give it to you. Why not seven? Right, so we've assigned all our commanders, excellent. Um, the armies are a lot smaller, like if I try and recruit someone, oh, I've not played in Paratur in a long time. Um, so yeah, like recruiting stuff, it just takes a lot longer. Um, I will, I guess, import some stuff. Can I import uh, iron? I can, from my own land, so we will do that. So we can now recruit better troops. So let's just recruit, say, some heavy infantry. I think it's like 100, uh, yeah, like 100 units now in it. So that's that's interesting. Makes smaller armies, I guess. But um, well, yeah, I don't know if I really would like that. But hey, we've got that. Um, there's somewhere where I can. Re there's two places where there's iron. That should well, and also, um, I'm trying to remember. No, which one is it? Resources. There we go. Right. So there's iron over here in Harlethian. So we need to look after that and hold on to that. And there's iron somewhere else. Ah, here. In Arnak and over here in Ra Ra so yeah there's a few places where we could get iron from that we should probably hold on to um, let's have it like that please um, so we could recruit yet yeah, from here so I might recruit an arm make an army here Dol Amroth is an ally we have quite a few allies actually we'll go over them quick in a minute um, but let's just quickly go through stuff so unused trade um, we probably want horses so we can get heavy cavalry get them from there yeah why not? Um, grain from wherever, I guess. We'll get it from Arnak. Um, wine. Yeah, why not? Let's get some wine in. Um, yeah, I'll get it from them. Um, cloth. Local tax. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Uh, and then maybe... I don't know. What else would I want? What else would I want? Papyrus? I guess, yeah. Papyrus for like tech. I'm not sure if there, if there is really tech in this mod, but we'll use it. But anyway, so yeah, I, I just thought I'd do this. I saw this uh, mod a few, a few weeks ago and I thought, you know what? We've not got a current campaign running, so um, we'll give it a go. I mean, there is the one with multiplayer, one with scrim, which is uh, still going, but we are uh, kind of out of episodes at the moment because we're both a bit busy with, with things. So we'll do this while we uh, wait on more episodes of Scrim and I. So I'm going to recruit uh, five units of light infantry over here. I know I'm running, I'm short on money, 
but only just. So hopefully we can get that in the plus. And we're going to start with property tax. I don't... I don't... Oh, is this zero... Zero... Zeroth level of martial advances. No, so zeroth is just not a word, so we're not going to even... Even interest that. Um, we're going to put import value up. That's probably your help. Supply limit will help. I wonder if we can just get all of these. I have a feeling we might be able to. Um, I'm going to do fabrication speed anyway. We're going to do it in the order, like, if we couldn't get them all, but I'm pretty sure we can. Global moon. Yeah, this looks like we're going to get them all. Yeah, this... Oh, no, we're not. Oh, okay. So, were any of these... I might have rather have had starting experience if I'd not known that, but oh well. Um, we are going to put on Blessings of Wealth as well, of course, just to get more money in. Um, available Decisions. The old alliances are dead. What does this do? Nash well, I don't really want to do that because it doesn't... It just brings... That causes unrest, so we're not going to do that. That's just stupid. Um, but the I idea is to form Arnor. So we need to hold... So these key key territories, this one here, with Cardolan. So basically, all of Cardolan's territories and Rudar and uh, and Arthurdane. So yes, we need to go west. That is the aim. The east is not an interest to us in this game, even though this is the old enemy over here. I am more interested in trying to form Arnor, which is what I'm going to plan plan on doing. Even though, unfortunately, all of these guys are kind of my friends, I'm going to have to betray them. So. No current idea for military, so we're probably going to put... I'm going to put morale for armies on. We're going to have good, strong armies. We're going to have probably national commerce income, just to try and bring in the extra bit of tax, try and get this uh, debt sorted out. Well, not debt, but uh, decreasing money sorted out. And then for religious ideas, I'm thinking... Loyalty or subject states, possibly, or monthly ruler game I'm not really too bothered actually about if my king is like got a good good popularity but he kind of does at the moment yeah I also have not played this game in a very long time so it's gonna take me a while to work out what is going on and we're playing with a mod so it's gonna take probably double as long I'm gonna go with loyal of subject states it seems like it might be a good idea loyalty uh, certainly we like these ones down here these are like tribes so they probably don't really like Gondor um, in available decisions yet we've done that um, scorn families well who cares about that and bad research ratio well I'll worry about that another day um, so I guess we'll press play and we'll start on three speed for now um, and I'm gonna I might for, uh, put these two armies together I certainly don't need this army down here this thousands I'm gonna put this up here I don't really know what the supply limit is like over here but we're we're doing something with it. These guys luckily are just joining straight up with this army. So we've got... What's in this army then? It's got cavalry and heavy infantry. Excellent. Okay. And then this one down here is also pretty, pretty good. Right. So I might start opening diplomacy and... Who is this? Cardlin wants an alliance with us. I'm going to have to decline for now, Cardlin. Because I plan to attack you. Um, unless... Yeah, see, they declare war... Um, I want to like do some covert action. Oh, old age. Oh, the king's old, of course. But he's um, he is. I'm gonna do it there. Yeah, whatever. Um, trade. No, I'm not gonna take your trade. I'll take Rudar's trade though for now. Andrast, yep, sure have it. Carland is gonna be the first to go. And I'm gonna take it. And. Then we'll go probably for Rudar, and then we may have to have a war with Angmar, I have a feeling, and then Arthur Dane will be the final, uh, a final uh, pin in the, I don't know, I don't know where I was going with that. Don't listen to me, don't listen. Um, there's also quite a few things graved out, so I wonder if aggressive expansion and tyranny and war exhaustion are not a thing in this, I'm not sure. Um, they may just be graved out because they're on zero. That could quite easily be the case. Uh, so we have a thousand men. Where is that other thousand? Oh, they're coming like the longest way possible. I'm going to put up a four speed. Um, news from a father. Uh, this is most troubling. One I Yeah, just this is this is not good. That's what we're going to say. Um, and then I guess the 
plan first is go to Tharbad. Because I'm pretty sure that is one of the key places I need to take. Um, also, also these, these these things have changed so for like Lord of the Rings ones. So I can't tell what the hell any of them do. Okay, there we go. So we do need Tharbad. Um, so we'll, that will be our mission of an objective to hold and then try and beat back. Hopefully... Uh, Carlton's not got too many soldiers. It's quite big, but so are we. We're pretty damn big. We could muster up a lot of troops if we needed to. We're still losing money. Apparently, we're losing money, though it's on zero. So I'm not quite sure how we're losing money. But we are making... Ah, here we go. We've gone and deposited. Plus seven. Excellent. Oh, I wanted that trade. You people look like you could have been handy to actually trade with. Um, alliance? I could offer them alliance. Or I could gain Gondor. Our coffers are looking a bit bare. I will agree. Um, I'm going to do starting experience. Because I would like starting experience. I'd like my troops to be a bit stronger. Yes, I will take Kazadum's uh, trade. Um, I'd like to get some alliances. Oh, he's got dementia now. Well, that is that is sad, actually. I can't even remember what... Like anyone is, whoever anyone is. Well, we could also colonize here, but I mean, there's a lot of colonizable land in this world. Oh my god, it goes a long way. I did not know about half these lands down here. Mordor's like kind of dead in the center of the world, then almost. It's, maybe it was, maybe it just was. Um, I'm going to. I'd like to join these two. I don't really care. Um, make this child go away. The baby has royal blood. Um, I don't really know if I want to, don't know really what I want to do. I'm going to go with, I've not really got the money actually, you just realised for making the baby go away. I will actually go into debt and I definitely don't have that much money. Um, lose some loyalty, the babe is royal blood. I don't really want to lose... We'll do that. I'll take the slight hit. I'm only slightly in minuses. Yes, Dol Amroth, I'll take your money. Please give me your money. There we go. Okay, we're making positive money now. More money. Excellent. Right. So, I don't know when... Oh, we, we're nearly there, actually. Perfect. Yeah, just keep giving me trade deals. I really need them. Four ago already. Perfect. We're going to be in the money for a long time. Um, Ravani, would you have an alliance? I don't think they would. Not surprised. Um, yeah, Androst. Um, yeah, you can have it. Sorry about that, guys. There was a, qu a quick cut um, because the game crashed, basically, and uh, for no apparent reason. So uh, we're back, and so we may have gone back a few days. I'm not really sure. We, I, don't, I doubt we finished dead on the 1st of January, 1303, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so, anyway. We we'll just move the army there just to get rid of attrition because we don't really want to deal with that. I'm I've now have my claim to attack uh, Cardlan to take Tharbad, and Dolaris will join. That's great. Um, but Arthur Dane Rudar and Lindon would also now basically go to war with me, and I don't really want to go to war with Lindon, a, a huge elven faction. Um, I'm gonna try and improve my relations with them though. Relations, I can't. Because they're a major power in the outside of diplomatic range. Interesting. Okay. Can I... I could ally up with them, but they're a subject nation of Arthurdain. And I could ally with Arthurdain, so I'll do that. I'll ally with Arthurdain. That is very helpful. Um, I could improve... Oh, no. We've just got a diplomat. Okay. So we can't do that. Could I ally with Rudar? Would Rudar like that? Yes, they would. Rudolph would like that. Competing power. Well, I'll do that. I'll ally with those two. I can always break alliances, but I'd like to deal with Cardland first. Cardland are probably now... Oh, of course. Well, you allied with me as well, you fools. So, we'll see in a minute whether we can get them to... Uh, if we can go to war with them, basically. Um, I think I could annex Dol Amroth as well if I wanted to. Um... I think it's covert actions. No. Alliance actions? I swear you can... Um, force them to like... You can eat them up. Maybe not. Oh, I thought you could. Well, I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. So we're basically... We're making good money now. Oh! 
<gasps> we break some guys died at the age of 74. Of course, we have Numenorian blood, so our guys live a long time. He's a friend of the, he was the head of the Calamir family. Um, we must know we consider Muriel, what's ever face, guilty. Well, yeah, you're guilty. That's just how it goes. You're guilty. You stupid woman. Um, you get. We'll go back there then. Why is. Why are you getting attrition? You're getting attrition there as well? We'll just come back. Come over here or something then. Why can we not get attrition there? There we can not get attrition. Uh, Cardland, no. But you can have it, Arthane, yes. And that, they can have it. Unsigned title. Steward, you're best for the job. You're getting it. That's how it works. Um. Available decision. Yeah, the old alliances are dead, but we don't give a damn. Uh, and I don't care about bad ratio, research ratio at the moment. Um, Kalmasil, he's my. We are grateful for this honor of the nation. Uh, yes, I will do that. I don't really want national unrest or any unrest. To be honest, it's not good for business. Um, I'm pretty sure we can colonize up here if we wanted to. But yeah, we could just colonize Khan and Dun, which I've just done. There you go. So we just take that little bit of land. Excellent. Now I don't know really why I did it, but we basically now have like this is this is the region where uh, Sirith Ungol is um, where that orc um, s almost s fortress. Yeah, that's it. It's fortress, it's sort of not a village. Orc fortress is where Sam and Frodo go in the third film, and they basically start a, start a prison riot almost. Not a prison riot, but like a, a civil war between the Uruks and Orcs. It's quite quite cool. Um, so anyway, we have our main army here defending Minas Tirith. We will have an, an army over here. This is kind of... I just don't trust these guys. Like, they're, they're wanting trade currently, but I mean, who's, who's to say that will last? Um, Dol Anaroth can look, at, look after itself. And I've got a small army down here just to look after um, any invasion from the Varigs. And Rune in the Haradrim down here. Because I don't trust them either, um, to be honest. Have they got... No, this is the Harad Drim. This is the Harad Waith. Oh, okay, so it's a different one. Um, well, they call upon us in a war against Norbidad. Who are Norbidad? And where are they? Um, most troubling... Yeah, I'm just pausing. Because I need to know who Norbidad are. Who the hell? A local power. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I'll accept you off. We'll go to war with them over that. Yep. Take them out. Do what you need to do. Um, I should have ex expected like all these other guys to join as well. To be honest, like look at them, they're all running off now in their little hundred stacks. So yeah, basically this is just a. a this could be a, this could probably gonna be a quick campaign. Just advertising like the the uh, the mod. Um, I'll put a link for it in the description. I'm. Do you know what? I actually can't remember what the mod is entirely called. I just call it the Lord of the Rings mod for Imperator, but it has got its own special name. A banquet? Splendid! Um, do I really want to spend political influence? Against this ability. And I gain popularity. I'll, I'll take it. I'll spend it. Yeah, well, it's going to go down, of course, it. But it'll just go back to 50 odd, so I'm fine with that. And um, there's a siege going on here. Yeah, I don't really think I'm needed in this, in this war. Though, I don't know really where his army's going. Could be going anywhere. Anyway, we've got some research to do. So professional sailors, maybe. National tribal output, possibly. I'm going to probably go with the output. I'd like that. Card land, no, I don't really want to give you anything. And blessings of wealth, please. Thank you. Um, so we've got plenty of manpower. And we've got plenty of money. You, Arthurane, is requesting that they may bring the Wrath upon War. Rudar, if we, br we break our alliance? Um, I don't know who I'd really have in a war. Who's got the larger army? Um. Okay, so I guess I just broke my alliance with them. I can't go to war with these guys at the moment because we're in that war. But I really want to because Arthur Dane and Rudar have gone to war against each other. So I don't think I'm allied to these guys anymore. No. Oh, no, I am. Am I still allied to you? Yes, I am. But you're... And you actually didn't go to war either. They just proposed a war. What a stupid thing to do. Okay. Well. I don't really like that. 
don't really know what's going on there. But it doesn't look like they're they're very happy with each other. So also, who's my heir? Um, he's doing a fine job. I don't know if I really want to gain. I don't really know if I really want. Where's the sixth army anyway? The sixth army is that's one defending the defending the pat. Well, not the the puppet states. Eh, no, I don't really care if you get more men. Um, demand support for air, please though. Because. Well, I just need you to. I don't even know who my heir is. Who is my heir? Oh no, this is my consort. Primary heir. He looks damn good. He's got children as well. Who are... A hundred and something. He's a hundred and eighty? Oh. Oh, he's king now. <gasps> he is king. I think that's just happened. Yeah. I think this might have just happened. Yeah. He's just died. Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, yeah, it just happened as I was expecting who my heir and stuff was. Well, that was perfect. So we have a new king already. We have a new, excellent, brilliant. Oh, well, um, so my current king is now 180 years old and uh, his children are about 112, um, respectively. So, I mean, this is brilliant. Oh, Cardland now we could go to war with. Everyone would still join. Rudar... Arthur Dane earlier just wanted to have a war with you. Watch their watch your back, Sonny. They're coming they're coming for you. Um so hopefully we can do some expanding. I don't really know where we could. We could possibly go to war with um the Harad from down here, but I really want to go to war with these guys because It's the only way to make Arnor. <laughs> it doesn't really have matter if we uh, have any wars with uh, the Haradrim. Also they're offering me a lot of trade, so don't know if I really want to. Um, so we're going to speed it up. Um, Vard, duh, I don't really... You're the high priest and you're a friend of a general. Don't know if I really want to spend that much money though on... No, not really. I'm just going to lose that. Don't really care about Old alliances are dead. I agree. The end is nigh. Um, a citizen of uh, Kool and Karnak. Yeah, I don't care. I want support for the air, please. Support for the air. Oh, there's going to be so many, aren't there? No, that's it. That's it, okay. This is most troubling, I agree. It is pretty bad that Angmar is back. But there's not much we can do. Time is valuable. Um, well, his legitimacy is 100%, so I'm going to just do that. Um, he's doing a fine job. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh Cardland, no, I'm not going to give you an alliance. You're my first bit of, like, expansion that I plan to do, if I ever get there. Arthur Dane, are you at war with someone? Is this why you're doing stuff? For Ooh, let's just take that trade. That oh, no! I missed that on trade that I really wanted. Uh, no, Cardalan. Uh, here we go. Right. I'm also going to slow down, because it's going really fast all of a sudden. Um, they're requesting if they may bring Wrath upon War Brudar if we... Except, go on then. Let's do it. My king, I think it's one day will attack us. So we broke the lines. We we'll soon find ourselves at war with Rudar. Okay. So we're going to be at war with Rudar for absolutely no reason. And I'd rather go to war with Cardland. So I could be in a weird third three way war. It's all because of you, Arthur Dane. You've done this to me. You better be ready for war. You have a fair amount of men. I will give you that. Are these all your. Vassals, yeah, they are. Breland, yes, yeah, good. Yeah, okay. I've allied with the strong one at least. Um, I might want to raise some more troops myself. I also earned seven ago, so I probably could. Um, I probably and I can't import anything from here. Can I import from here? No. None of these places are worth importing from, apparently. Um, no, not there either. Um, not here either. Um. I could take the 8,000, but that's quite a large army just to take up north. Um, I can't import here either. I'm just going to have to recruit all my Gondor infantry here. Where is it that had produced me metal? Here. Alright, I'll just produce heavy infantry here. Uh, four should do. And then we'll recruit all our... Uh, we get an attrition here? Bloody hell. Attrition is going to be the bane of this game. Because... Apparently there's attrition here. Why why wouldn't there be? Of course. 
Um, let's... I could split this army in two, I guess. Um, split in half. Let's do that. Um, let's put you there. Let's sort this out. Let's sort the problem. Um, who are you commanded by? No one. Um, let's put... Oh, my king in charge. Excellent idea. Yeah, let's take that. Um, I don't really want to... I could invite him to an exclusive banquet. Nah, eh, what of it? Yeah, I don't really need the popularity. I've got 100. I'm liked. By people. Um, well, I'd like to make the king's army a bit bigger. Um, becomes friends. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm, it's not out of my coffers, so why not? Take it. Take the... Take it. Um... I'm going to recruit, I don't know, maybe some light infantry, maybe some light cavalry, there we go, take them, um, those 400 men go and, hi guys, so we had another crash, uh, unfortunately, so I'm just going to quickly go through, do blessings of wealth, um, and then I'm probably, I'm going to wrap up this episode, um, because, just, just, because we are getting to the half an hour old mark and we've had two crashes and I just want to try and get this episode out. So if you've enjoyed watching, then um, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. I've just, I could make this a um, series if you guys wanted to make it, uh, me to make it a series. Um, then leave it in the comments and just put like, I'd like to poke. I'd love to see this as a series. I'm a massive fan of Lord of the Rings and I want to see like a bit more of this mod. And just let me know and also leave a like and if it gets like over 10 likes then I will do another I'll do another one uh, another episode of this that's what I was trying to say but um yeah I have persisted on through the crashes to try and get this to work so hopefully um, it is all worthwhile and you'll enjoy and anyway until the next one guys I will see you guys